Hey, this is Brian. Thanks for watching Keys Motorsports. If you like our videos, give us a thumbs up. Make sure to subscribe and check us out at keysmotorsports.com. Today, we're going to show you how to upgrade your charge pipes on your F80 M3 with the S55 motor. Before we begin the installation, let's talk about first what a charge pipe is, what it does, and why it needs upgrading. Now, the F80 M3 is powered by twin turbos. Turbo number one, turbo number two. Now, if you're new to turbos, here's a quick overview of how it works. It uses the exhaust gases that are trying to escape to spin this little turbine inside. And that spinning turbine is going to spin the compressor wheel over here, which is sucking air in through your intake and then your inlet and forcing it out the other side of the turbo into your motor. Now compressed air is hot air, so you don't want to put that into your motor. So what you need to do is you need to cool that air down. Now compressed air is the name of the game, however compressed air is hot. So what's going to happen is it's going to go through the charge pipe, which is what we're replacing today, and then through a charge air cooler. And basically this is going to cool the air down, just like an air to air intercooler that you'd find on an N55, except with a charge air cooler, it cools the air with coolant. So what's wrong with the one that's in the car now? Well, BMW used a plastic one. Now, if you're familiar with the N55, the most common problem for that car is a weak charge pipe that cracks and blows apart. Well, same exact thing on the S55. Even under stock boost pressures, these can crack and break on you. So in today's video, we're gonna show you how to upgrade these to aluminum ones. All right, let's get started with the installation. So what we need to do first is remove this panel over here. You take these nuts, you turn them a quarter of the way counterclockwise. You remove this push pin right here and this piece will come right out. Then you do the exact same thing on this side again. Quarter turn counterclockwise. Then remove the push pin and once again, these are the style where you remove the middle and then the whole thing will pull right up. Then you take this, slide it out, move it out of the way. Now while you have that 10 millimeter out, there's a bolt right here, remove that. Then there's one more push pin down here. As you can see, we've loosened these to help the video go faster. Then once you've done that, we need to remove the eight 13 millimeter bolts. What I like to do is just break them loose with a ratchet. And then I have a drill attachment. We'll get them off a little bit quicker. Once you've done that, just flip this up right there and then flip this up right there and set the brace in a safe location. Next, remove the motor cover by simply pulling up. It's just held in by a few of these grommets. So you can see there's one up here, one here, and then two on the bottom. Then what I'm going to do is I am going to remove this air box over here. Now this is an optional step. You can still get to all of the bolts, but for video purposes, it's going to be a lot easier for you if I show you how to remove this. So we'll start by removing the mass airflow sensor. Just push on that tab and set this out of the way. Then what you want to do is you want to loosen this hose clamp with a six millimeter. Then once this is loose, you can very carefully just pull that off and then take your air box lift it up and this is held in again by just some of these grommets. If they come out like this one did, all you need to do is just press it back into place. Then what we're going to do is we're going to loosen this six millimeter, another hose clamp. Okay. Once again, we're just going to gently wiggle this off just like that. Then take a clean microfiber towel and we're going to put it in here so nothing goes down to the turbo. Next we're going to need an E10, so this is an E-Torx, and we're going to release the charge pipe from the turbo. So carefully loosen this and remove it and it'll look just like that. All right, and while we're here, we're just going to finish the job with this charge pipe first. So take a six millimeter again, loosen this hose clamp, get it very loose. These can be a little bit stubborn. And what we're going to do is we are going to pull this charge pipe up and off. Now you gotta be very careful of this plastic piece right there because if you just go straight out, you're gonna crack this off. Um, so what I like to do 
is lift it up a little bit so that that notch is gone. And then just carefully pull it off. Okay, so now that's off of there. And we'll pull that off just like that. And since the top of our turbo is exposed, I'm just gonna put a glove over it for the time being so nothing falls in there. Now, as you can see, this is the turbo that is towards the front of the car. This is the longer of the two charge pipes, so we'll put this one away for now. And as we can see, the charge pipe is secured to the charge air cooler with a rubber silicone hose on one side, and then it slips on the turbo on the other. Now, we need to make sure that we get a good seal, so we're going to take out the O-ring on the original, and we're going to press it in place on the new charge pipe. Okay, just like that. And that's going to make sure that we get a really nice tight seal. Then once we've done that, we can remove our glove here, take our charge pipe, just wiggle it on, make sure that everything is nice and tight. Now what we can do is take our charge pipe, just press it onto the turbo, make sure that it's all the way down. Then at this point, what I like to do is grab the silicone hose, put the clamp over it, and work this on. Make sure that it is seated completely on there and nice and flat. All right, so then what I like to do is I like to position the clamp so it's horizontal. You don't wanna have it straight up because you never want it to get too close to the hood. Once you've done that, we'll secure this. Then what you can do is take your other hose clamp, line it up the same way the other one is, and slide your charge pipe on. Now, if you're having trouble lining this up, what you can do is just gently release it from the turbo. This will line it up a little bit better. And then pop the turbo back on, make sure that that's completely seated. And then you'll be able to push this in all the way. As you can see, everything fits nice and good. And then we'll tighten this up. We can take our E10 and tighten that down. All right, and this charge pipe is now fully installed. Let's do the same with the other one. Then what you can do is the exact same thing on the charge pipe in the rear. Now, it's a little bit difficult to see. Uh, this part is not 100% mandatory. This is more to help you see what's going on. So if you'd like to remove this inlet, you can, but you can definitely do this with the inlet still on the car. So the inlet is held in with a 10 millimeter. And then all you need to do is just very carefully wiggle this around and it'll pop off. <clears throat> then all you do is just very carefully wiggle it around and that'll pop off just like that. Okay, before we get started, I'm just going to plug up the turbo with my towel here and then we'll be able to easily see this other E10. So at this time, you can remove this. And it's the exact same thing we did before. Take your six millimeter Loosen this clamp up. I'm gonna lift it up there first. Wiggle this back and forth. And then I'll come off just like that. Be very careful of the little plastic tab down here. What we can do is just lift it up, pull it off the car just like that. Now, just a little tip when you're installing these E10s, a lot of times if you go perfectly straight down, the lip on this might hit the weld and it needs to end up in this little groove. So if you're having trouble, just pull this side off of the turbo ever so slightly, you'll get the bolt to go in and then this little lip right there is going to line up in this indent so everything will go on nice and smooth. All right, at this point, you're a pro. So do the exact same thing you did before and you'll be good to go. Okay, so we'll line up everything down here. I'm gonna put this on here first. Clamp it horizontally. We'll get our other clamp ready to go. I'm gonna release this from the turbo to make it a little bit easier. Um, this side's definitely a little trickier. It's not terrible, just a little trickier. Get the bottom part, put it on the turbo. Get our E10 in here. All right, so once that's tightened, we can get our final clamp. Again, we're gonna put it horizontal. 
for consistency and make sure it's not going to hit the hood. And at this point, the charge pipes are fully installed. At this point in the process, the charge pipes are installed and I must say, they look amazing with that CSF charge cooler. So I'm going to take a couple minutes and I'm going to reinstall everything that I removed in the reverse order. I'm going to put the carbon brace back on and then torque all those bolts down to 28 newton meters. At this part of the process, everything is fully reinstalled and torqued down and it looks amazing. And this is a well needed upgrade for a BMW F80, especially since those factory ones are plastic and prone to breaking. These can handle the pure turbos we installed the other day and they're gonna last the life of the vehicle. So if you're interested in the set, be sure to check us out at keysmotorsports.com for all your BMW retrofit performance and aesthetic needs. If you haven't done so already, give us a like, make sure to subscribe. My name is Brian, thanks so much for watching and have a great day.